Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you probably the easiest possible way that you can create stickers with Dolly 3. I think that one of the reasons Mid Journey blew up is because as soon as people figured out how to start creating stickers with Mid Journey, I mean, troves of people just went up to go sign up for Mid Journey. Same thing with Leonardo, right? Stickers are one of those things that pretty much everybody in the print on demand industry loves. Something that I've been doing is not just creating one sticker, but taking that sticker, creating variations of it with different colors, and uploading them as packs to Redbubble ever since I've been focusing on that packs video that I created uh, maybe a month ago. So I'm going to show you exactly how to uh, make that happen here today. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. There's three different formulas for prompts. And what I realized is that some work at different times, so you want to be aware of all of them. The first one is the most simple prompt of them all, and I actually wanted to use this as an example. And you can actually see on the right hand side here, I have been making these stickers pretty much all day long. All right, so here we have uh, a thing that uh, the beginning of the prompt you want to have cute design of a right, so you want to write cute design of a and then the element. So that's the first form, okay? That's the first prompt type. Let me show you the second prompt type. The second prompt type is cute design of A, and then you name the element, and then sticker, okay? So right after, sticker. Now, I, I'm just going to say this. I found that in best term scenarios, if you're going to have like a, a person or a thing, right, whether it be like a, an animal or an item of uh, a fantasy character or something like that, you want to use the word head after because it will show the head of that character and it comes out generally better sometimes uh, or actually most times I would say. But let me go ahead and keep going, right? So cute design of a Christmas or of a, in this case, I use Christmas elf head sticker. Um, and then finally, let me show you the third prompt and then we're actually going to put this into, you know, work. We're going to show you how it looks like when we actually create some stuff. So here, finally, the third one is cute design of a Christmas elf head kawaii sticker. So really, the element in the middle is interchangeable. It's a variable, but cute design of a and then kawaii sticker. So you see the difference here. In the beginning, there's none of this kawaii sticker here. In the second prompt, you just simply add the word sticker after, and then finally in the third, kawaii sticker, okay? So you have option A, which is just add nothing after cute design, um, or the element. Then you have, like I said, uh, sticker or kawaii sticker. And based on the results, what do you guys think? Do you guys, this has nothing at the end, right? This is just sticker at the end. Look at these designs. And then we have kawaii sticker here. Tell me what you guys think. I'll say out of these four, I'm going to say either this one or this one. In terms of perfection, this one's the most perfect, right? The colors are not the best, but once again, I'm going to show you how to edit the colors with zero clicks. I mean, instant editing uh, towards the end. And this one's probably the, the most detailed. I like this one the most, but hey, it is what it is. This one is, in terms of perfection of the art, this one's better. Let's see these four. These four here... This one's my favorite, but this will take a little bit of editing. you got to clear out everything in the background. Um, then this one here, I would say uh, it's either a tie between this and this. And these are more suitable for t-shirt designs, in my opinion. Uh, they don't have that white outline around them because you're not indicating that it's a sticker. And you could just simply remove the background and make it happen. So let's go ahead and edit all three of these and, and create some elements. So I'm going to write cute design of A. And then I'm just going to write white tiger. Let's just go ahead and write that and hit create. Now let's see what this looks. Now remember, here we're, we're utilizing prompt number one for this. Okay, so this is prompt number one where we're not adding any kind of extra keywords after the element. All right, so let's see how it looks. And then boom. All right, so we have white tiger. And by the way, I want to show you the same prompt, but 
I want to put the word head in front of it. And the reason why I want to do that is because I wanted to show you guys the difference from what I said earlier. When you add that little word head, sometimes the the design comes out a little bit better. But honestly, it comes down to your guys' opinion. Do you guys see this now? I didn't add any word kawaii or sticker or anything like that. But you see what it's looking like now? And this is specifically talking for creation of stickers, right? You see the difference between this and this? These are more for like t-shirt designs. When I add the word head, now it's kind of like sticker-esque, all right? So now let's go ahead and go to prompt two, which is this style, where we add the word sticker at the end, right? So we're gonna go to our, our design here, right? And I'm gonna remove the word head just so we can test it, and I'm gonna write the word sticker. And then on the next prompt, I'll add the word head. So we're still using prompt number two here as a brand new try. We never tried this before here with the white tiger. So remember, we did not indicate head here. So you can see here, look at this. So cute design of a white tiger sticker and then boom, really good white tigers. I mean, I'm not going to lie. They look very, very cute, very, uh, you know, to me, this looks like almost like kawaii style, but I didn't even label kawaii. I just said sticker. Now I'm going to add the word head. Okay, now let's see the difference. Now, mind you, this is still using prompt number two. So it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit different because we added the word head, but we're still using prompt number two where we indicated it's a sticker. So now you can kind of see the difference there. I'll just say this I would never use. Um, this I might use. This I might use, but this one is probably the best one. It's just my favorite. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and test finally the third prompt style, which is adding the word kawaii sticker. And we're also going to test it using the word um, uh, tiger and then white tiger, white tiger head, and then just white tiger. Right. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go here. Okay. And instead of the word sticker, we're going to add at the back kawaii sticker, but instead of head, we're just going to remove the word head here and hit create. Now, once again, I believe that the AI has been trained so much and has seen so much art. When you use the word head, think of the data that it's pulling from. You're pulling from all the images on the internet. It's a bunch of like kawaii style stuff. Now here we remove the word head and still there's an emphasis on the head. Why do you think that is? It's because we wrote Kawaii sticker. Now I'm going to go ahead and write the word head here and then hit create. And I bet you they're going to be, you know, kind of remotely similar. I think out of all these different creations, the craziest one was that very first creation because we didn't indicate anything about any Kawaii stickers, um, but we didn't either indicate anything about a head. And you could see here, we have the different styles. So it's definitely significant in terms of the differences. Let's go ahead and create some random generations right now with different characters so you guys can kind of see the difference. So we have Kawaii design of white tiger head Kawaii sticker. Let's do a, Let's go ahead and type in Santa. Let's type in a Santa head, right? A Santa head Kawaii sticker. We'll hit create. And then for the next one, I'll remove Kawaii head and I'll just write Santa head. Okay. And we'll, we'll test it out here. So let's just give that a second, you know, um, and you know, they're okay. I wouldn't say these are directly related Santa. Maybe this one's the closest one. Let's go ahead and remove Kawaii sticker, just like we said. Okay. And let's hit create and see what it comes out with. And then the next one, I'll just have fun with it and I'll just remove the word head and see the difference. But once again, when you remove that word head and you have no other keywords like sticker or anything like that, you're going to have the, uh, the the advanced tiger design that I showed you here earlier. But these are cool. I, I think this one looks like almost like an emoji or something, but, you know, they look OK. I wouldn't use them in T-shirt designs. I'll just be honest. These are more for like sticker packs. My mindset, depending on what I've seen that sold over the past few months for me. Um, to me, these are just more like sticker packs. But once again, we're going to see how, how it's going to play into this style. So if I just write of a Santa, right, and I don't have the word head in there or a sticker or anything like that or kawaii, you guys can kind of see the difference of what's going to happen. And once again, I'm thinking it's going to look, it's going to have more advanced style, just like that tiger design. Why? Because there was no indication of any sticker any word head or kawaii. So let's see what it comes up with. 
And boom, just like I said. So if you guys are trying to make stickers, specifically stickers, stick to either using the word head in your prompt or you can use the or end, you know, in combination with you, you can use the word kawaii sticker or sticker or just kawaii, but you either make sure you're going to have the word sticker or the word head or both. Okay, that's what it comes down to. So now, as I've showed you guys that, I wanted to guys show you different things about changing colors, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I told you I would show you this. Let me just download this real quick, okay? I'm going to download this because I've done this with a few different images now, and you could actually see some of the images loaded onto my computer here. Um, I found a way to edit colors like instantly without having to do any kind of graphic design, vectorization, or anything like that. So I want to show you here the first example. So this is a picture of a cow head, like a bison head. And like I said, I've been working on this in terms of the last 24 hours. I worked on this pretty significantly, right? So I can go over here, and I can go down in my application to color, all right? And this application, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. It's an AI tool editor, and it also comes with a discount if you want to check it out. But uh, anyways, so there's a, a color editor here. And instead of me specifically toggling these colors, and I, I'm pretty sure you guys see them, yep, these colors on the right-hand side, I'm just going to go all the way to the bottom where it says hue shift. And I'm going to start off with this, and I can move it to the left, right? Hold on, I can move it to the left. And I want you to keep your eyes on the cow. Look at that, Look, or the bison, whatever you want to call it, uh, highland cattle, whatever. You could see how the color is shifting. Look at that, right? We have a light blue. We have a darker blue. We have a purple. We have a p pinkish light purple. Then we have a red, then brown, then light yellow to green, to darker green, to almost like a turquoise. Uh, I don't know what kind of green that is, uh, but but um, now all the way back to blue again. And if you want to edit certain certain levels of blue, like for example, here we're at this blue, I can make it a little more greenish of a blue, like a lighter blue or a darker blue. And I could go, I could tint it to the right, to the left. However I want to set it up, I can do that. So the cool thing is you can take this one design and turn it into 10 designs, 20 designs with different colors, and you can turn it into a sticker pack. I'll give you an example. Like I saw on Redbubble, and let me actually try to pull it up here. I saw on Redbubble, I might not be able to pull it up, but um, I saw in Redbubble these people selling like star pictures, pictures of stars, like a sticker pack of stars. And and you guys know that's a that's a, a racket for teachers. Teachers are going to go buy them, right? And they give different color stars to their students as unlike their homework or their test scores or whatever the case may be. And having those different colors in a sticker pack might attract that audience, you know? And so you could figure out ways to make money. Now, something that I will say, and this is a little pro tip that's not necessarily concerned in the video, and I want to see if you guys see this on my uh, screen recorder, but it does look a little pixelated. Well, that's no problem because the image is only 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. I can take this and upscale it. And remember, when it's upscaled, everything becomes more clear in the image, and I can click on it, and indeed, it looks a lot better. So keep that in mind, all right? Um, I don't know, once again, if my OBS can pick up all the data that's going on on my screen, you know, certain things like pixels and colors, you know, might not fully pick it up, but I just want to show you that that is possible, all right? So let me go ahead and do the same thing with this tiger design that we created earlier. So once again, I'll go over here to color, right? Select the color button, go to my hue shift, and start testing out my different hues. And look at that, right? We have different colors on the cheeks. The The outline here is becoming green, right? We have from blue to white to purple to pink, almost like a light pink now to an orange. We have all the way to a green, a blue, all kinds of different stuff here. And there's different textures of this. There's different styles. You know, I could play with the different colors, the backgrounds, all that kind of stuff. Now, me personally, if we're selling stickers, I do have to do some work. I have to remove the background. I have to put it in Canva. I have to put it with other stickers for it to make sense. You know, and I got to work with it that way. And uh, if you guys want to see how I create some cool sticker packs to make sure that they don't connect to each other on Redbubble when I actually upload it to Redbubble, let me know. I'm open to show you, but you can kind of see here what's going on, and I'm definitely switching different colors. And you could actually see the difference between the original, right, which is this pink, 
and the blue and I could actually split it halfway so you can see the difference or I can just click this and it will kind of show you the difference there and on camera that looks pretty cool actually if you have a, a picture like this but yeah so you get to see kind of the difference and there's a lot more settings that I could sit here and edit and you know do different things too but here's an example so that is pretty cool so I think overall this is a really good guide if you guys want to learn how to um, create these stickers and remember the give and takeaway here is if you want a sticker one of the easiest ways is just add the word head right to the to the cute design uh, prompt if you want a little bit more indication that it is a sticker literally you can write sticker and then accompany that with the style of art so in my case I use the word kawaii all right so you could do that so many times and like I said I was doing this you know all day long testing different things finding what works finding what doesn't so uh, you guys let me know how much you enjoyed this video and please use it go make that money and uh, do yourself a favor and uh, hit the thumbs up button all right I'll talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching peace out bye